and welcome back to the Quarry Garden on a bit of a breezy day but it's still gorgeous and I'm standing here in the spring border surrounded by these gorgeous yellow daffodils doesn't it make your heart sing beautiful and if you want a plant to attract early pollinators bees into the garden plant a pulmonaria this one at the very front of the border here is just alive with bees it's buzzing I just love it Anyhow, it's time to do some jobs. Right, so the first job of today is to move this bamboo. I'm sure you've all had a plant that you've put in the wrong place. This is mine. I put it here, or I planted it here about oh, four years ago, five years ago, long before I ever thought about redeveloping the quarry. And it's in the wrong place and I need to move it. So here goes. the bamboo in position it didn't half put up a fight <laughs> we had to wrestle it in position probably wise if you have a plant as big as this if you can to divide it I'm stubborn I didn't want to do that though never mind I think it looks good and hopefully it should um, enjoy this new spot it matches now the bamboo on the other side of the path anyhow on to the next job The second job today is to plant a tree, and it's not a job. It's something that I've really been looking forward to, so it's a delight. And the tree that I've chosen is an Amalankia Lamaraki, or Lamaraki, not quite sure how you pronounce that. But anyhow, I'm looking forward to this. Um, the reason why I picked this particular tree, it has something for all of the seasons. It has lovely showy white single flowers in the spring, and then in the summer, the leaves turn bronze um, into green and then the red berries come and then in the autumn, red leaves. So it's got something for all seasons and I'm really looking forward to planting it. The only debate that I've had with myself, that is, um, is to whether to plant in a square hole or a circular hole. There's an awful lot of um, debate here in the UK about that. There's a lot of scientific... Um, information online um, it's, a, it's a personal choice you, you really need to investigate it um, what they're saying is if you plant in a, a circular round hole it takes longer for the roots to grow out into the native soil whereas you plant in a square hole um, when the roots come to um, a corner it's easier for them to travel out disperse into the actual ground it's very scientific a lot to do with 90 degree angles it's something that you need to actually um, educate yourself on like I have and then make your own um, decision. So my hole here is kind of like halfway house between a circular and a, um, and a square and that's mainly because of the ground that I'm digging in. 
it's quite, it's obviously, as I said many times here in the vlogs, it's, it's very poor, this ground, because obviously it's in the base of a quarry and it's never been gardened before. And also, um, the advice when you back hill, um, back fill rather, the hole in the ground, you need to use the native soil. Um, easier for the roots to establish and that's another thing that I'm struggling with because my soil is so poor so I've had to actually enrich it before I can actually plant it. But anyhow, I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to plant it and I'm going to see what it looks like. That's the tree planted now. I also added some of this mycorrhizal fungi. It just helps um, roots establish quickly. But yeah, I'm pleased. Do you know the time that it's been here in this lovely sunshine? The actual buds are starting to open. I can't believe it. It's gonna love it here. I've got a tree guard to add um, because of the deer and rabbits that I have in the quarry. Also, I'm going to net off quite an area, trying just to protect it as much as I can. But I'm looking forward to it so much so. I just wish it was five years time and it was a huge tree. It looks a bit lost in this space, but it's the first plant to go into this part of the garden. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. <laughs>